to the surprise of virtually no Vancouver Canucks fans, Adam Gaudette has won the Hobie Baker Award. Okay, no pause. Not really to the surprise of no Vancouver Canucks fans. I'm pretty sure that there were a lot of people out there who were debating on who this award would have been given to because the Hobie Baker Award has always been one of those awards who people didn't really know who was going to win. In this season of NCAA hockey, Adam Gaudette was first in the league in points per game, goals, and points, but there was still that uncertainty circulating throughout fan bases of all these teams and of college hockey in general on who would win because it has been reported in the past few years that NCAA decision makers for these awards do not always choose who the fans think will be the best player. But nevertheless, the Hobie Baker Award this year handed out to the college player who exemplifies the best play. And Adam Gaudet, if you look at the numbers, he did exemplify exactly that. Playing with the Northeastern University Huskies, he finished with a really good stat line. I think you guys know what I'm about to say here because a lot of you guys do follow the NCAA because Adam Gaudet was really hyped this year. 30 goals, 30 assists, 60 points, 38 games, highest in goals, highest in points, and in points per game. And he had, according to the Hobie Baker website, 20 multiple point games in this season. That is fantastic. 38 games played, 20 multi-point games, which means that he barely had more multi-point games than he had games where he scored zero or no points at all. Even on the power play, he was a dominant force out there, first in power play points and fourth in power play goals. And one of the things that it actually talks about here on the Hobie Baker website that I didn't know about beforehand was the fact that Adam Gaudet was a communications major and he worked on cancer projects and he read at elementary schools. That's awesome. A lot of people tend to forget when they're watching college hockey and looking at NCAA stats and prospects and whatnot that these kids are literally in college. So that means that while they're out there playing hockey, playing on their school's hockey team, they still have to go to class, and they still have to live the normal college life. This, of course, is a task that, once described, could just put into perspective how hard Ryan Donato, who was another Hobie Baker finalist this year, had to work, as he went to school in Harvard. That is no easy feat, and the fact that he was in Harvard for a sociology major, also with cancer-related fundraisers and school cleanup projects, he didn't have himself an easy path to the NHL either. And I say to the NHL because right when he made his debut, my goodness, what an absolute fire of a debut for Ryan Donato. And a lot of people were kind of convinced at this point that, okay, Donato's got a really good chance of winning the Hobie Baker, and... The final finalist for this Hobie Baker Award this year, Henrik Borgström, playing for the University of Denmark as a sophomore from Finland. He had himself a really strong season as well. This was his second season over here in North America after playing for the HIFK's under-20 and under-18 teams. He went, he got 43 points in 37 games last season, this season, 23 goals, 52 points, 40 games for the University of Denver. He is now in the NHL as well, playing with the Florida Panthers, two games played, zero points. Now, Adam Gaudet, he is kind of on that same path, playing with the Vancouver Canucks this year. He's got himself zero points in four games played, which is fine, because to be honest, he's been playing great, he's been getting a lot of shots on, and that's really all that we can see right now, but 60 points again, 38 games, he was able to best out Ryan Donato, who played 9 less games than Gaudet, and only got 43 points, so that's 29 games, 26 goals, and 43 points. Really, it was a toss-up, and a lot of people who are looking at the statistics, they could look and they could say great things about all three of these players. Gaudet led the league in points and statistics. Ryan Donato had to make things work in such a dominant way while still maintaining his studies at Harvard. And Borgstrom was able to cross that bridge from 
Finnish players who wanted to play in the NCAA while still maintaining their dominance. So all three of these guys had really good reasons to win it, but ultimately Adam Gaudet comes away the victor here. A lot of Vancouver Canucks fans are really excited for this, excited to see what Gaudet number 88 on the Canucks will be able to accomplish. And who knows? Adam Gaudet wore number 8 for the Huskies. Maybe he'll wear number 8 again on the Canucks. All it takes is a little bit of a Chris Tanev sweetener in the trade market, and all of a sudden, number 8 might be a little bit more free next year. Who really knows? But, anyways, absolutely phenomenal season for the Northeastern University Huskies. The only thing missing was a win over Michigan State. That would have been great, and then they could have progressed forward into the playoffs. Dylan Secura is now playing in the NHL. Adam Gaudet is playing in the NHL. Nolan Stevens is also playing in the NHL as well as he was drafted by St. Louis. So all in all, it was a great season, and I'm looking forward to seeing all these guys as they progress forward in their NHL careers, seeing as all of them are now in the NHL, which is great. But I wanted to take a look at a little bit of Hobie Baker history, because this was actually interesting to me, considering the fact that a lot of Hobie Baker awards haven't had the best success in the National Hockey League. If you look at the previous four Hobie Baker Awards, these guys are pretty good. You got yourself Will Butcher, who is doing wonders for the Devils right now, Jimmy Vesey, who is getting a little bit better as the years go on over there in New York, Jack Eichel, who... It's Jack Eichel. He won it as a freshman, let's face it. And the previous year before that, 2014, Johnny Gaudreau, who... You don't need me to tell you how good Johnny Gaudreau is. But the thing is, from 2013 all the way to 2002, we only have, like, one or two guys who have played in the NHL regularly. In 2013, we saw Drew LeBlanc winning the Hobie Baker. He's not in the NHL. 2012, Jack Connolly. Nope. 2011? Nope. 2010? Nope. 2009? Nope. 2008? It was Kevin Porter, who is actually playing in the AHL still. He's the captain for Buffalo's farm team, so, um... Yeah, take from that what you will. Then 2007, nope. 2006, Matt Carl is a player who played in the NHL last season, but not this season. So, yeah, but other than that, he did have a solid 700 games playing in the NHL. But other than that, if you want to go even further, you got yourself Jordan Leopold in 2002, and then 2001, you got yourself Ryan Miller. So really... The Hobie Baker is signifying really good players and success rates in the NHL if you look at the past four years. But if you look at the entire 2000s, it doesn't really look that good. But who cares, right? It doesn't mean that Adam Gaudet is going to be the next Jordan Leopold, at least I hope not. But at the same time, it's a really good selection of company to be with. You got Ryan Miller in 2001, you got yourself Paul Correa in the 90s, you got Jack Eichel, who is obviously doing really well right now, Johnny Gaudreau recently too, so it's a good selection of players to want to be included in, and I'm just hoping for the best, because if Adam Gaudet could provide a solid NHL presence moving forward, he is automatically a win of a player, because the fact that we got this guy in the fifth round in 2015 proves that any pick has the potential to be an NHLer. Obviously not every pick, will have that potential, but any pick can, and there is a difference in those two statements. And I'm just happy that we took a guy who is looking to be somebody who could stick around for a long time, and somebody who I believe Canucks fans would want to see stick around. Because in the other game, last night against the Arizona Coyotes, Adam Gaudet had a lot of good shots, zone entries, and whatnot. I've been very pleased with what I've seen from Adam Gaudet so far, and obviously, there's more to come. He's still got to mature in the offseason, work out and all that stuff, come back ready for next season's training camp, and by the time he's in the NHL full-time, we'll be able to gauge what he'll project to be. But for now, he's the best player in college hockey, statistically speaking and awards speaking. The other guys, Ryan Donato, Henrik Borgstrom, they've had great college tenures as well. They are now in the NHL, and I wish success to all of these guys because what we really need in the NHL moving forward is younger guys coming into the league, bringing this new style of fast-paced hockey because this is the direction we're moving in, in terms of hockey. And guys like Adam Gaudet, Borgstrom, Donato, they're all going to bring that. And going forward, I'm excited. I'm really excited. 
Congratulations to Vancouver Canucks prospect and rookie Adam Gaudette for winning the Hobie Baker Award of 2018. Hope you guys enjoyed this video tour plus some controls like Nostra House 9 Gaming, and bye. <laughs>